We're winding down here on the MLB pregame show as we count down to the final game of this three-game set. But before we take you to the action, the latest installment of the Topps Player Spotlight. Tom Heber will be in the glow. And by now, I'm sure you know why. In his last game, he turned in a start for the record books as he no-hit the opposition. And EK, how do you think he'll follow up that performance in this one? Well, Matt, that's what everyone always wants to know after a guy throws a no-no. And of course, it's impossible to know, but I do know he was absolutely unhittable in that game. So if he's still got any of that mojo left over, he should be really fun to watch again. I mean, he's been the talk of the baseball world for the last five days or so, so his confidence has got to be sky high. And that usually helps in this game. We'll see if it continues to go his way. Okay. Eric, Steve, and I are ready for baseball, and we'll have it for you next on the show. Now from the southeast quadrant of Washington, D.C., a look at Nationals Park here in our nation's capital. Today, getaway day here in this three-game series between the east-leading New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. And before we close in on first pitch, a look at the starting lineups here for the finale. And let's also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers as you see how they stack up right there. And there you see Denard Span as he gets ready to lead off the home half of it. Swing and a ground ball to dig, first. Dig, dig, run it out, run it out. He'll take it out. to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Ian Desmond will stand in. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. And the pitch. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. Ligaris comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Ryan Zimmerman will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two. And a swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. And inning in the books, no score here on the show. Bryce Harper will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. Well, there's no question this guy's got to be in the running for the Cy Young this year. He makes quick work of this guy on three pitches. That was just too easy. Cole Calhoun will stand in now. As he takes a cold strike at the... It literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, it doesn't seem like it's taken him too long to get into his groove here. He's now struck out three of the first five guys he's faced, and I'd say that he's looking pretty strong early on. Into the box, Jim Williams. As he'll watch a curveball that bends in there under his hands at strike one. Boy, he may strike out the side on nine on, pitches. Set pitch comes another 0-2. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby, too complete. Still scoreless here on... Tom Seaver will get his first cuts. Come on, guys. Now a ball lined to the right side. Find the ball, find the ball, find the ball. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Danny Espinoza will stand in hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. And 1 and 2. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. And as we showed you in the open, he's out there putting his perfect record on the line. And so far, these guys haven't shown many signs that they're ready to put a one in that loss zone. Jose Lobatone will stand in. Getting Fighting fastball up in the zone. 
but you're never gonna get on top of that thing when it's up that high. I got it, I got it. Long run, but he tracks this one down out there for the second out. Nice play. Yeah, both these two starters are matching each other in the early innings, strike for strike. He's an out of way now from him too fast. I'm sorry to interrupt, but that's the third strike and the third out. Side is retired. Nationals gone in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Denard Spann will lead things off here in the home half. Now here's the pitch. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Well, right now he is just carving them up, dare I say, like a Thanksgiving turkey. That's seven strikeouts already, and he's made it look easy so far. So one away in the inning now for the shortstop, Ian Desmond. Now the first pitch. Hey, take a rip like you can. Here you go, baby. Now a check swing, but he makes contact and hits it out in front of the plate. He's out. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home court. Man, not only has he not allowed a hit to this point, but he's also faced the minimum so far. You can't do much better than that. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And here's Duda to make the catch, and that's out number three. Three up, three down for Washington. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. Bryce Harper stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. When he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can crush. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. Cole Calhoun will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. He can get a ground ball here to get himself up. Ah, and meanwhile, this pitch gets away from him. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pit bull now, three and two. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked the batter to this point. So his control has been really, really spot on so far. Come on, Daddy, like a big dog. Right time, Stepping right time. in now, Jim Williams. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. That man's team has definitely shot a scoring position. And oh, that looked like it caught him squarely in the arm. And they get the out at first. Score it one to two to three on the put out. And now let's see if he's okay. Well, this is certainly something you never want to see. Perhaps the silver lining here, if there is one, is that that got him in the non-throwing arm. So if he had to work his way through this, he probably could. Assuming, of course, that there's nothing broken in there. And I think he is indeed planning to give it another go. Pitch on the way. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And they're on the board as now it's a 2-1 ball game. That two-out hit there makes that air extra large now. you got to make sure you... Hey, let it rip one time. Easy right here. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And here's a ball hit in the air. You go, you go. Ball, ball, ball. Ball. And Wright will make the catch to retire the side. So one run, one hit, one error in the inning, and a runner left. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Mets lead it two to one. Jason Hamill will come in now to start things out here in their half of the sixth as they look for... And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. So this has been another fine outing for him this afternoon as we check out the league leaders in ERA. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Denard Spann will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. And it looks now like a right and error thus far for the Nationals. Hey, let's go, big fellas. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. And plenty of room out there for Granderson. And there are two away now. 
So he's just a third of an inning away from putting up another zero as we take a look at the ball clubs with the lowest team ERAs. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Ian Desmond will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball. The, the next 3-2. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Mets two and the Nats one. Tom Seaver will stand in, and you can all now the first pitch. Now he runs up and gets this one down. Big turn, pick up the for one. And he'll make it up to third here thanks to the throwing miscue, and we'll see how they want to score this play. So chalk that one up as an east. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much to his first three plate appearances. He can make up for all of that. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. And all through this winning streak of theirs, we've seen some great starting pitching. And this has been another very good performance. Good enough to most likely keep that winning streak going. Bryce Harper will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored. So one time right now, kid. Here we go. Hit on the ground towards Go, first. go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there are two away now. Boy, and on 2 and 0, oh, if that pitch isn't right where you want it, you've got to let it go. You still have to count your favorite game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. Now beat it out. Come on, come on, come on. Now hold that thought as the play is made out there for round number three, and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order, and it remains a 3-1 ball. Jim Williams will dig in for the third time now. He struck out. This is offered at in the dirt for strike three. Just needs to make that easy throw to first. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for round number one. Danny Espinosa will stand in. Strikeout victim his first time. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Got it, I got it, I got it. And the catch out there made by Wright for out number two. Boy, that's just another off-balance swing right there. Not only are these guys light on hits, they're not even making solid contact right now. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. They still trail it here, three to one. You always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, really a dominating performance out there. Look at all the strikeouts. I mean, they just couldn't touch him. 